The Bard is back. In February 2023, Google launched its generative AI chatbot called Bard in response to OpenAI's ChatGPT. But things went south for Google's Bard after it came under fire for generating inaccurate responses to certain queries. This wasn't received well by people at large, let alone tech lovers. Google went quiet about generative AI chatbots the last few months. And during the Google I.O. conference on the 10th of May, news broke to the world that the new and improved Bard will be accessible to 180 countries going forward and that anyone can access Bard with their existing Google account. In this video, we will take you through how to use Bard, what to expect and what you need to know before you get typing or maybe voicing your prompts. Let's check it out. Type in bard.google.com on your web browser and click on Try Bard. Use your Google account details to log into the Bard chat window. You will be introduced with who Bard is and a few examples of queries you can ask. Type in any question and get answers to them instantly. You can also click on Use Microphone in the chat window to generate voice prompts. By clicking on the icon on the top left corner, you can access options such as Reset Chat, Bard Activity, FAQ, Updates and Help and Support. And also at the bottom, you have an option to toggle between light and dark modes. So each of these options that you see on the left takes you to a separate window with detailed and elaborate information. A couple of important things to notice here is how the title of the application reads Bard Experiment and how at the bottom of the prompt space you have this disclaimer that reads, Bard may display inaccurate or offensive information that doesn't represent Google's views. Well, it looks like Google has learned its lessons and tried to course correct Bard and its developments. Here is what you can expect from the latest version of Bard. The latest Bard provides language support in Korean and Japanese, apart from English US. And it is available in all of these three languages in 180 countries. One of the cool things about Bard is you can export the responses to your Google Docs or Gmail. You can edit or customize these responses on the Google Workspace apps and this will be of immense help to students and working professionals. Apart from that, Bard helps techies code in more than 20 programming languages and gives people multiple drafts for a single question simultaneously. Importantly, in the event of an inaccurate or a not so satisfactory response, Bard gives you an option to Google your prompts. This will help in verifying or fact-checking the answers generated by Bard. But here's what you must remember. Google has warned users not to get personal with questions and share sensitive or confidential information. Bard is still in its experimental phase, which means the data collected on it will be stored and utilized to make Bard a better tool. It is said that data is accumulated by default for 18 months on Bard before it is deleted. But there's a remedy for it. Google provides users an option to turn off and delete their Bard activity on the tab which goes by the same name. There you have it, a new and improved Bard that promises to do better. I know what you must be thinking, is Bard better than ChatGPT? What are the differences between these two LLMs? And so many more. Comment your thoughts and I will get back to you with another video shortly.